hello guys uh, today our tutorial will be a bit different as you saw at the video we just made that geodistic dome and I made it with the cooperation with let's revit channel she has an amazing channel and we decided just to work together and to make something interesting and actually the geodistic dome which the thing that we decided to make so uh, the link in the description will teach you how to make this component she the let's revit channel made this one and she made also the six adaptive component the three adaptive component or the four adaptive uh, components so you can just check the link in the description and make this component and then watch this video so the first step I just open an architecture template I will change the uh, unit UN is the shortcut let's say I do need it maybe centimeter it's okay for now and I will make of course it will be making the mass and but but first I have to make a reference plans reference plan which is will be uh, RB is the shortcut just click it name it as one go to massing and site show and then just in place mass okay go to north elevation and now just click a model he will ask you which plane you would just select the reference plane one and now you will make a line like this let's say and then you will make maybe an arc if you would like just to make like very perfect one you can just go to level one and then draw a circle here maybe you you will need maybe to make for example 5000 or like 500 5 meter uh, the, the the size that you want just make it here and go then to the north elevation you can see the uh, border of it but I don't I don't want to make this one now I will just make it as it is I will make a line and then I will make an arc maybe from here to there or just a bit less maybe it will be like this let's say now okay or just make it a bit less maybe let's see just the form how it will be I will select this one say, uh, click the control and then this line create form of course I do need it to be a dome I will see its shape first I don't like to see this one so I will go just again to north elevation maybe x-ray let's see it how it will be or control Z again just to make it again I don't I don't want to see this one so I will make this one longer and the arc like from this point to this point yes maybe it will be better now now create the form as a dome go to 3d okay and now I like it so the next step will be just select this one and that one and now divide the surface now as you see the connection point between this part and this part is very well it's perfect like they are connect, uh, connecting with each other in a good way and there is no any uh, differentiation between them so maybe maybe your shape will be like this so you will need just to adjust it a bit maybe you will select this one select this surface or that one and then you will just make this one 10 or maybe you will need just to play around with this with the layout with which maybe it will be a fixed distance you will put a distance that you want or a maximum spacing or even to play with the justification which is the center or beginning as you see if I just maybe now it's okay because the shape is very well but maybe you will need just to change it if, if it didn't work or the shape itself didn't work so the next one will be just selecting it and just to click this little arrow here and then click note say ok and now select the second one the same step notes and say ok why I'm just showing the notes because now I will go to the component which uh, she made it and then I will say load into the project of course I will load all the components uh, that I need maybe because because we will need just to make more than one more than even three so I will click one two three four five six seven eight and the last one so as you see I just uh, place it here and it's worked very well maybe maybe your component will be like this 
will be into outside so you do need to be inside so you just gonna say flip if it's unchecked okay and it will work very well so the next step will be also selecting it and just click this as an array or repeat so the program will make it very well here so we will go to the second side okay we will place it here also I will go to create component you will find all your components here it will be one and two and three etc so again the same step the most important step in the component and which is the adaptive component to place it with the number the, th the sequence of the numbers that you made it so one I cannot like just select this one as two because when I when she made it she made like one two eight, three the fourth fourth one is here fifth one is here sixth one is there seven eight and nine so make sure just to place it as it is it's very well it's not into outside also repeat it works very well so exactly the same uh, thing which I faced I faced this part and that one so I decided and also this one also as you see when I just uh, faced this problem I found myself in a place where I do I have to uh, or I had to make another component which will be three component and another component to close this shape which will be also a three component but different shape like I just made this one three thin one five six nine three which is the steel and the adaptive straight one and also the thick one so I let's see which one uh, this one is the three component steel yes I think this one or let's say this one I will try it okay yes this one load into the project exactly I will go to 3d and then I will start to make it click the first one here second one here third one there and exactly that's how I made this part as you see also it's into the upper part I don't want it to be like this I will select it just flip it and that's all and go again to top just to make sure that you click the same point you will just click it hide it first and then create component select this one this one this one and again hide let me just try just to array it I don't know if it it gonna work or not let me just try this one if I just array it no it didn't work so you ha you should unfortunately you have to make it one by one so as you see I will just go to reset and also this one we do need to flip it and that's how I just made this the uh, center point so we do have this one from this point to that one and this one actually I made it by the three component which is the straight one okay the three adaptive the thick one and the straight one also I just open it load it into the project and close and go to 3d go to top and exactly like I just placed this one and then this one and then just let me raise it first hide this part and then create component from this point to this one to this one and exactly that's how I just made it as you see it here I will reset and that's how I got the shape so work and uh, let us show uh, let us see sorry your work 
and uh, give us the feedback. Thank you so much.